Welcome to Y Lab, the makerspace that lives in the David Dunlap Observatory in Richmond Hill, Ontario, Canada, and uh, where we have to have Thanksgiving earlier in October to get that harvest in before the snow. This is the intro to our Canadian Amateur Radio training. So this is information you need to review before you start our test site. And uh, we'll tell you where to get the training curriculum and how to use it. All of the info in this session is online. You don't have to listen to my voice. You can just go through the slides on your own. We're on a temporary site. We originally built this for a scout group called the Technical Venturers. Uh, so you'll find it all on that site. It's going to be moved over to the YLab site eventually. Uh, really, we'll get down to that at some point, but uh, we don't want to delay getting people this material. All the material is free to use, even for others teaching the courses. So uh, no restrictions on it. Absolutely none. So the website is https slash slash techvents.wordpress.com. And when you go to that page, you'll see this, ham tutorials and test. So this is our quiz site. We do it a little differently from everybody else. We're focusing on material that will help you get through the test and then after that, get on the air. So we've got a frequently asked questions section. Uh, you can provide us feedback and we do log all the changes. The same page, if you scroll down, gives you reference materials. So as we mentioned in our outline of ham radio, we really, really recommend the Canadian Amateur Radio Basic Qualification Study Guide. We consider this a reference. Now, you don't have to have this to take our class, but once you get your license, you really want this book. Uh, it's got all kinds of sections on just about every topic imaginable. Uh, the authors are really talented ham radio operators. Uh, if you don't want to go for that, there is a 170-page study guide. We did not write this. We found it on the web. It's uh, sitting on random sites, and we don't know who wrote it. We can't find it. We'd love to find the authors. We've researched it, uh, but the originating website no longer exists, and we haven't found any references for it. But uh, we've kept the copy here if you want to use it. And uh, we're gradually putting up some cheat sheets uh, that might help as well. But again, they're, they're not required, but you can grab them and print them out. Now, going further down the page, you'll see our slides, upcoming videos, and quizzes. So the quizzes are based on the Industry Canada Question Bank. Uh, so the Question Bank is a thousand questions, and for the test, they will generate a random test just for you. If there are 10 people in the room taking the test, everyone will have a different test. And that test will have 100 questions selected at random. Now, we improved on that. We've added some hints and some tips to help you get through the questions. And we broke it into 20 separate quizzes. Now, some are short, some are long, and some are repetitive. If they're repetitive, that's because a lot of the questions are repeated in different ways in different sections. So if you're really lucky, you'll get an easy question that uh, you know the answer to, and it'll be asked three different ways. When you go to the quizzes, you can do the quiz in, in uh, manual or automatic mode. Uh, Automatic mode will just take you through the quiz as if it's a regular test and you get the results at the end. Manually, um, that will allow you to check your answer at each one. It'll tell you if you got it right or wrong. Uh, so when you're first learning it, yeah, try it manually. And then we recommend going through each quiz three times. Usually when people do that, by the end, they're getting 90, 95% on the quiz. Also, down at the bottom, there's links to uh, share the quiz with your friends. So if you think this is good, or if you just want to warn them away from it as a safety thing, please do so. Now, when you play in manual mode, you'll notice a couple of things. In the top right-hand corner, just beside the pencil tip there, you'll see a hint button. So you can click on that, and often you'll get a hint. And it might be a real groaner, but it helps. 
uh, and then you'll know right away if you got it right or wrong. Then at the bottom of the page, you see that button that says next question. Uh, before you answer the question, it'll say skip. If you don't see that button, widen your window. For some reason, the button disappears when the window is narrow. Uh, we should report this to the uh, people who run the site. But that's, a, that's about the only glitch we find. There are some glitches in a few questions. Uh, we need to review it. There were some problems early on when we built this test that introduced some errors. And uh, if you alert us on the feedback button and do a screen capture of what the problem was, we'll try and get it fixed. Now some suggestions for taking the quiz. Start and end with the slides or the video when we put that up for lesson zero. It has no quiz, but it has really important tips that you want to review before you take the test. So look at them again. There's a lot of common sense and other tricks in there that would probably help you get through 15, 15 to 20% of the questions with just that information. The quiz site works great on your phone, so you can go through it anywhere. You don't have to be sitting at a PC. Uh, are you part of a class or a group? Work the test together. We found when we were training a scout group that uh, it was like playing Jeopardy. They really enjoyed going through this together. And you can do that on uh, Zoom or whatever other uh, online meeting system you have. Focus on the easier tests. Don't kill yourself on the hard ones. High marks on an easy section allows you to fail or get a lower mark on a tougher section. So uh, our favorite easy ones to start with and build up your confidence are number one, number two, number six, and number 20. You don't need to take the tests in order. You can do them however you want. Just remember to go through that lesson zero first and last. And on those easy ones, aim for 95%, and then you don't have to do as well on the tougher sections. So get started. Remember, there's our website. It'll be in the links below on the video. Uh, start with the slides of lesson zero. Get through 1, 2, 6, and 20 to boost up your confidence, then work the rest of them. Good luck, and uh, thank you for watching. Again, we're YLab at https colon slash slash ylab.ca. Uh, if you like us, put a comment. If you don't like us, uh, go get yourself a beverage and sit down and uh, read a comic book or something.